Glaucoma is often dubbed the silent thief of your sight. But what exactly is it and how we can prevent it or even treat it? Hi, welcome back to Dr. Solar channel. I'm Dexy Fatima and today we are going to cover all about glaucoma and its approved natural remedies. So stay with me, let's take a look. First off, let's see what exactly glaucoma is. Imagine a tap and a drain in a sink. Normally, the water flows freely in and out, maintaining a stable level. In our eyes, there is a similar balance with a liquid called aqueous humor. It flows in and out, ensuring that our eye pressure is just right. But what happens if the drain gets blocked? The water rises, right? It is similar in glaucoma. In glaucoma, when this fluid doesn't exit the eye properly, pressure builds up, pressing against the optic nerve at the back of our eyes. This nerve is like our visual cable, sending the signals from our eyes to our brain. And when it is damaged, it can lead to sight loss. Now, what's more alarming is that you might have glaucoma and not even know it. Why? Because in early stages, glaucoma doesn't cause any noticeable pain or symptoms. It sneakily starts with affecting your peripheral vision, the edges of what you can see. And that is why a lot of people might overlook it. Think of it as slowly narrowing the edges of a photo. You might not realize that parts of the picture are missing until a significant portion is gone. However, if you detect it early, it can be manageable. So it's essential to know about its sign and symptoms. Gradual loss of peripheral vision, blurry vision, seeing halos around lights, redness in the eyes, and severe eye pain or headache can be some of the symptoms of glaucoma. So it's essential to attend regular checkups, especially as you age older than 60 and if you have a family history of glaucoma. If you have diseases like diabetes or high blood pressure, these can make you more at risk of glaucoma. So you should be aware of this as well. All right, now let's talk about some of the natural remedies that have been studied and approved to be beneficial. The first one is ginkgo biloba. This ancient plant has been used in traditional medicine for centuries. Scientifically, it is known that ginkgo biloba can help improve your blood flow. There are studies which suggested that ginkgo biloba might help reduce the vision damage among glaucoma patients. It can also reduce the free radical damage and improves your visual function. The next natural remedy is saffron. It seems that this natural spice isn't just for cooking. Saffron has a lot of anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and anti-cancer properties. But aside from all these properties, there are some small studies which suggested that saffron might be helpful in managing glaucoma. The next thing that you should do is to take fruits and vegetables, like every other disease. But there is something here that I want to explain a bit more. If you have glaucoma or you want to prevent it, it's really beneficial for you to take leafy greens, like spinach and kale. It is because a big chunk of the nitrate that we get comes from the leafy greens that we eat. And this nitrate turns to nitric oxide in our body. And nitric oxide relaxes the walls of our vessels, including the ones in our eyes. This relaxation can improve your blood flow and can assist with the drainage of the fluid responsible for your eye pressure. So if you're not using leafy greens on a daily basis, make sure that you make room for them in your daily diet. Another thing that you should make sure that you put in your diet is enough vitamin C, vitamin E, and zinc. Omega-3 fatty acids, which can be found in salmon and sardine, have also been suggested for improving your eye health. All right, now let's talk about exercise. Regular exercise can provide numerous benefits for people with glaucoma. Aerobic exercises like walking, jogging, cycling, and swimming have been shown to transiently reduce your eye pressure. These exercises improve blood flow throughout your body, including your eyes. They can also be helpful in regulating your blood pressure. 
but there are some specific exercises that can increase your eye pressure and you should be cautious about them if you have glaucoma. Poses or activities where your head is below your heart, such as some of the yoga poses, can increase your eye pressure. Lifting heavy weights, especially without proper breathing techniques, can temporarily increase your eye pressure. And high intensity activities where there is a lot of jarring and bouncing might not be the best option for people with glaucoma. And my last suggestion is meditation. It has shown a great benefit for decreasing eye pressure. Chronic stress can lead to high blood pressure, which is somehow linked to your eye pressure. Meditation can be a great way for letting go of your stress and through that, letting go of your high blood pressure and your glaucoma. And that's why studies suggest meditation as a lifestyle change that can be really helpful in managing glaucoma. All right, guys, that was it for today. If you find this information useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll be really happy to see what you guys think about this video and answer your questions in the comments. Until the next video, bye.